What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you are not, go ahead and hit that button. And while you're at it, if you're on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation slash reality chat. All right, NeNe Leaks. As you all know, I talked about it yesterday and so many other people are buzzing about it. And I have some more to say. I wanted to play this clip where she was discussing Cynthia. And listen, you have seen the ups and downs when it comes to Nini and Cynthia on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Cynthia definitely is a different personality than Nini is, and there is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. But you know, I want to play this clip and then I'm going to continue with my commentary because she basically was alluding to the fact that Cynthia was almost an unknown in her eyes, but Cynthia was so starstruck by her. And I was like, oh, wow. (laughs) Okay, really? Okay, gotcha. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, Do you think you getting underpaid was... Because at that time, you girls were so new to this, you just didn't know. Yes. Just didn't know. Very much so. And also, when they say housewives, we all were real housewives. For real. None of us really worked. (laughs) Our our husbands were the ones that were working. We were really housewives, stay-at-home moms with the kids. Uh, I think Sheree had a boutique at some point. Um, um, Deshaun, I mean, she had her foundation or whatever it is that she was doing. And whatever the little stuff was. But we were real housewives. And so I think for us, we were just excited to be out filming and doing something. That's what I. That's how I felt about it. I was just happy to be out doing something. So when you see all of us dressing and all those events that we had, we paid for those out of our pockets. Out of our pockets. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Going back to season three. So the first two seasons, like you said, ratings galore, ratings increase, breaking mm-hmm. records. Season one, you guys were were mentioned on Saturday Night Live. This show was a pop culture phenomenon. Season three came in. You had Cynthia and Peter in mm-hmm. addition to Phaedra and Apollo. Mm-hmm. Um, you and Cynthia did not know each other. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. You were told to hang out with Cynthia to get to know her, to bring her in on the show. Yes. Yes, yeah, so the producers told me they were looking at a new girl her name is Cynthia. Uh, they love for me to go out with her. She and I decided to go out to like a lunch or dinner or something. And I remember we went to Papa Do's. And uh, I remember Cynthia being like super nervous, like, oh my God, oh my God, this is Nene Leakes. And, and uh, we went to Papa Do's. Did you know Do's who and- she was? I did not. Okay. I'd never heard of her before. She was a supermodel. I still had not heard of her. The only supermodels I had heard of was Naomi and Tyra and maybe a couple of other black girls, Beverly. and Johnson. But I had never heard of Cynthia. Okay. She was on the Cosby show, too. I didn't see it. Okay. Y'all try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... Okay, so you... She, so are this you, is the truth. I, 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 I believe you. So you... So, so Cynthia Bailey, the supermodel, um, she was starstruck when she met you. And rightly so. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how did that go at Papa Do's? Um, at Papa Do's, uh, we clicked. I liked her. I think she liked me. Uh, I felt like she was a little nervous. I didn't think that she was like housewife material, just being honest. And I was like, you know, she's a little quiet. She's a little this. I don't know that she is the one that you guys are looking for. But I really enjoyed her and I liked her. And that was before I met Peter. Now, when you met Peter, what did you think of him? <laughs> when I met Peter, I thought too much, too much. <laughs> he was doing it. Too much. Oh, too much. Okay, so you heard what she had to say. And listen, she definitely said more. You can listen to the entirety of the interview. That's just the first part. There's going to be a part two coming out next week. But, you know, (laughs) this is one of the reasons why I say that for me, people are free to say or feel (laughs) whatever they want. 
when it comes to whatever it is. But for me, this is one of the reasons why it makes it hard for me to really root for Nini, like really, really root for her. Because there are a lot of people that are 100% rooting for her to return back to the Real Housewives. It's never going to happen, okay? It's never going to happen. And listen, just like she talked about in the beginning of the interview, which I believe and agree with her, people change, people evolve. And even if she didn't leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta on a bad note and the things that transpired after the fact didn't happen, I just feel that that season is over. Seasons change. And this is always going to be on her resume. This is always going to be a part of her history. And it's sad to see that she didn't go out in a way that would have been on a high note. And it's nearly impossible to get that back. I still want to see her succeed. I still want to see good things for her. I do believe that she is worthy of that. But ultimately, she has to get some more humility about herself in order to really obtain that. Because the humble child tastes the grace. That's what I truly believe. Even the Bible says it. And for her to say that, even if it was true, the way she said it, it's with a, it's just such a tone of arrogance that it really gives off this tone of shade when it comes to Cynthia. When she's like, well, I, I didn't know her. I mean, the only, and she's naming other top models, so to speak, or supermodels. And we know why she's doing that. When it comes to Nini, we know how why she's doing that. It could have been anyone else that didn't have that same type of mentality and heart that Nini has if they were to say, well, no, I didn't really know um, much about Cynthia. I wasn't familiar with her. No one would have thought that it was shade. But for her to say it the way that she said it, she comes out to speak about other people when she's throwing names out. Like you know, I knew, I've known of, I've known of Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, but I, I didn't know who Cynthia was. You know, and you can't say that Cynthia wouldn't hear something like that and take offense to it, because it's not what you say; it's how you say it. And then to act like Cynthia was just so starstruck by Nene, like, oh my God, it's Nene Leakes. I, I just don't see that in that way. I, I can see Cynthia maybe saying, oh, you know, yeah, I've seen you on TV or heard about you on this show, but I don't think that Cynthia was starstruck by Nene. Now, we have seen her geeked out on the show when it comes to Nene, which we all felt was ridiculous with the friendship contract and all that other stuff like that, but Cynthia's different, and Nene is extremely arrogant. For her to say when Carlos asked her, and she's like, well, you didn't know about Cynthia Bailey. I mean, but you said that she was start, you know, she was really astounded by you. She's like, well, yeah, rightfully so. I said, see, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about when it comes to Nini that really makes it hard for me to really root for her. I'm never here to wish harm for her or to wish bad for her, but it makes it hard for me to root for her because when you do stuff like this and the stuff that she's ha- said in the past about, you know, well, Cynthia, she isn't really bringing anything to the show. And Cynthia remembered that and she didn't like it. And she felt like Nene was coming for her paycheck and wanting her to be fired from the show. But then later on in the interview, Nene talks about when Carlos asked her about her friendship with Cynthia and if she could ever get back to being friends with Cynthia. And she's like, well, no, I, it, it could never happen. I will always have love for Cynthia, but no, we could never be friends again when I found out some of the foul stuff that she was doing behind the scenes to try to stop my bag. It is possible that Cynthia did not want Nene to come back, but I don't think that Cynthia outwardly was saying, don't ever bring Nene back on the show because if you bring Nene back, then I'm leaving. It wasn't a Candy and Phaedra situation. It wasn't. But... Was Cynthia wanting Nene to come back? Probably not, based on how she left. They did not leave 
off being friends and then Cynthia backstabbed her to act like a friend in her face and a foal behind her back. And that's what Nene is trying to insinuate and I just don't believe that. So I just felt that in that part, in that moment of this interview with Nene discussing Cynthia, I, that just didn't sit well with me. And then... Uh, She's just one of those people, in my personal opinion, I feel that it's hard to be friends with. There are some type of personalities where it's like, it's really hard to be this person's friend. And if you really, really want to be their friend, it actually is going to take work. And is it really worth it to do the work to try to be this person's friend? Am I that invested in it? And I just believe that Cynthia was like, I'm good. I'm good on that. And I could understand why. Because she was throwing shade. Oh my gosh, she was throwing shade throughout this interview when it came to Cynthia and those questions. But it's her right to think that way and feel however she wants to feel. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't mean that everyone's going to agree with it. And it doesn't mean that anyone really has to. But I wanted to discuss it. So you guys can let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful. And now I'm going to say bye.